live across WA from the studios of Seven Perth, Rick Arden. Tonight, Australia hit with its first suspected cases of potentially deadly swine flu. Police use a stun gun on a teenage driver during a chase. And dramatic pictures. A Transperth bus steers away from tragedy. Didn't know I was on two wheels. I just did what I had to do. Yeah. You're watching 7 News. Police are under investigation for using a taser stun gun on a teenager while he was driving a stolen van. The vehicle crashed metres from a crowd of nightclub goers, but police say there was no danger to the public. These pictures, released by police, were taken on a mobile phone. A 17-year-old allegedly drunk and with no licence behind the wheel of a stolen van. For more than 100 metres, he refused to pull over. Police pull up alongside and fire a stun gun through the open window. The police car nudged it and it put it off course and into the fence. Police say they averted a dangerous situation. I was very concerned for the safety of the public and they needed to stop the vehicle. Police spotted the stolen car around half past 12 this morning. He blew a tyre, drove the wrong way around a roundabout, hit another car and crashed into a restaurant before police fired the taser. They say the van was doing around 20 kilometres an hour. Senior police will investigate the incident. Just to ensure what we have done is appropriate, to look at our procedures and all those types of things, but certainly um, the actions taken by the officers would have been considered. I mean, the guy's OK, so well done, I suppose he was subdued properly. The teenager's been charged over a break-in at a liquor store and with driving offences. Jasmine Homer, 7 News. A police pursuit overnight in Balcata ended in a crash that put four men in hospital. One is in a serious condition. The chase started around half past nine. Police say the driver of a stolen Ford Laser ran a stop sign and clipped another car before crashing into a flower bed. And police are searching for the driver of this red Subaru which crashed into a shop in Midland last night. Police won't confirm reports the female driver was seen doing donuts before the crash. A Transperth bus driver's lightning-fast reflexes have almost certainly saved two lives. The driver swerved so quickly to avoid smashing into a car and running down a pedestrian that his packed Mercedes bus tilted over onto two wheels. And it was all caught on camera. Grant Taylor reports. Watch what happens when the white car tries to turn right in front of an oncoming bus. That's a 12-ton bus with 48 passengers on board up on two wheels. Bus driver Joey Freitas's lightning reflexes prevent what could have been a tragedy. It was all luck, all to do with luck. Didn't know I was on two wheels, I just did, did what I had to do. Yeah. Joey was driving north on Canning Highway on Saturday afternoon, Anzac Day. His wife Elsa was one of his passengers. When the Hyundai sedan cuts him off, Joey swerves, but then he spots a pedestrian. The only option now, to turn hard left. Buses simply aren't made to corner like this. When I saw the car turn, I thought I could just zip round him and go, and then I saw the boy on the side there, so I got up and even turned sharper. And my wife screaming at me, saying, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to kill someone if I don't keep turning this bus. He did a really good job. After seeing the footage, I was like, oh, my gosh. He did really well. Cameras show what it was like for passengers inside the bus. Some were thrown across the aisle. The only injuries were to the bus. It hit a bollard as it went around the corner. I said, oh, I must probably going to get sacked over this because it's not even my fault. I must probably going to get fired. I'm sure his job's not on the line. In fact, he might be nominated for Employee of the Month. As for the driver of the car who sparked the incident, police say they're still investigating, but it's likely he'll be charged with dangerous driving. Yeah, some of the days were, yeah. Grant Taylor, 7 News.